welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by and if you are here for the first time please consider subscribing and turning on your notification as i have new uploads every week now today i'll be showing you how to make this simple tasty dango stew also known as mung beans or green grams which you can enjoy with some rice chapati or potatoes but before we start So these are the ingredients that I'll be using. Of course, your dengue, which as you can see mine I've boiled and it's very, very soft. And that's what you want so that it gives you a thick stew. I also have coriander, some green bell peppers, milk, onions, one teaspoon of garlic. And for the spices, I'll just be using paprika, cumin black pepper and i just added some curry powder because this is a curry and it goes perfectly well with it and i just wanted to show you an optional spice if you would like to use as well as the dana jira and it's actually also good for this as well so you can always alternate and i have carrots that i've grated you can chop them if you want and it's optional as well and i have potato uh, tomatoes that i have pureed so we'll start by adding some oil in our sufuria or pot and followed by your onions and fry them until they're translucent once the onions are almost done go ahead to add in your garlic and fry them as well next go ahead to add in your tomatoes so if you are using whole tomatoes cook them until they are completely broken down so because i'm using pureed tomatoes it's pretty fast Then add your green bell peppers. Together with your spices. Then followed by your carrots. and let it simmer down so add just a little bit of water to it and just let it cook and all the spices and the carrots as well to cook as well give it about three to four minutes once that is done it's time to add your dango
then add a little bit of water and cover it and let it simmer well. So once the dengu has cooked really well, it's time to finally add your milk and milk is such an important step because it adds so much richness to your dengu and it gives it such a beautiful taste. So since the dengu is done, I'm just going to let it simmer a little bit with the milk and it is ready to serve. Keep stirring your dengu so that it does not stick at the bottom of your pot or sufuria as beans and dengu tend to stick at the bottom of your sufuria a lot. And once that is done, it's time to add your coriander and serve your dengo. And here you can see it. I love the consistency that it has. You can enjoy this over some chapati, rice, sweet potatoes. I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and I will see you on my next one. Till next time, bye-bye. Yeah.